Welcome to Next Generation Crafting. Glad you are joining us. We will show you a new crafting technique. First a quick tour about how to get a lot of crafting stock material. One of the best crafting stock for this purpose is a spineless form of Opuntia fragilis. As you can see, propagation is very fast. This one is also winter hardy. But you can find your own favorite crafting stock, like this one, called Opuntia robusta monstruosa. This one will give you soon plenty of small rounded pads you can use. Now let's turn over to the plants we want to craft. By cutting previous crafted plants, we'll get a lot of sprouts. For the crafting job, we will need a knife, something to clean the knife before each cut, plastic wrap and a scissor, and the last ingredient, clothespins. If you are not very much in housekeeping, you may ask your partner for some of these things. Start by cutting some pieces of plastic wraps. This is the most difficult part. Using your knees may help and will give you total body exercise. Put the pieces aside so you can grab them easily. Now take a cutting and cut it straight. Cut the crafting stock in this case Opuntia fragilis and try to make both surface areas about equal. Put the two parts together. As you can see, the two stick together already. Put the plastic wrap on the top of the craft and pull it down. Now fasten it by twisting it around. This will put pressure on the graft. Spines may come through the plastic, but that is okay. To prevent the plastic from unwrapping, we put a clothespin on the bottom. It can be done without a clothespin, but just to be sure. The clothespin can also be used to give us some additional pressure by pulling the plastic down through the clothespin. We will now show the same from another angle, so just enjoy for a short while. Put the wrapped crafts in a box. Save the box somewhere with no direct sunlight. Let them stay there for one week. After one week we will unwrap them. If there are spines in the plastic, don't pull the plastic from the graft. But just straighten the plastic, it will free the graft from the plastic wrap. Put the crafted plant in a fine dry sand mixture. You may use rooting powder if you want to. Don't forget to put a label inside. Yet another example of how to remove the plastic wrap in a proper way. Put the plants away in the shade and start watering after a week or so, or whatever you feel comfortable about. After a number of weeks, the plants will show new growth. Now it's time to put them in their final container. As you can see, they developed already a bunch of roots. In June, July, they grow very fast.
In this box, we have an experiment with Opuntia robusta monstruosa. They are doing all right as well, as you can see. I hope you like the movie. Enjoy! Enjoy.